The Monarch 3 trial was a study examining patients uh, in the first-line setting with metastatic ER positive HER2 negative breast cancer. The standard of care for many years has been hormonal therapy uh, with uh, uh, one of the aromatase inhibitors. And in the Monarch 3 trial, uh, patients uh, were randomized to either standard of care, either letrozole or aromatase uh, or anastrozole, or the uh, aromatase inhibitor of plus of bemaciclib. And there were nearly 500 patients in this trial in a two to one randomization. Previously, uh, uh, this study, uh, we've demonstrated that the addition of a bemaciclib to aromatase inhibitors significantly improved progression free survival, and that's led to global regulatory approval. Here at ESMO today, we're presenting the second interim planned uh, overall survival data. The results demonstrated that the, in the intent to treat population, there was approximately a 12-month improvement in overall survival for the addition of a bemaciclib over standard of care aromatase inhibitor. However, although the p-value was less than 0.04, this did not uh, cross the stopping boundaries. Therefore, at this time, we continue to follow patients and we expect a final overall survival results to be uh, in 2023. One additional point, there was actually a, a, a planned, pre-planned analysis of patients with visceral disease. This is based on the fact that there was early data suggesting that bemaciclib had substantial benefit in those patients with high risk characteristics. Again, there was an improvement of greater than 16 months with overall survival as it relates to a bemaciclib versus the standard of care. Again, the stopping boundary was not met. We will continue to follow these patients. With regard to safety, no new safety signals and, uh, with regard to what has been published in the past. So at, at this point, uh, we uh, are, can say that the uh, overall survival data are maturing quite favorably, and we expect the final overall survival results uh, to be in 2023.